Becoming an author takes a lot of hard work, but drawing from your own inspiration can help make that process a little easier and maybe more fun. I just want to let everybody know I just protected Christy. Somebody came in the studio, go, wait a second, I did the tree. It wasn't Christy, but she's okay. Local author Paul Campbell is here to talk about his brand new book, first novel he's ever written called Love's Will, and it's about a novel about your parents' actual love story. It is, it is. Yeah, so it's, it's, it's based on an inspirational true story about my parents, and it's always been a fascinating story to me, and I've always been inspired by it, so I wanted to write it and uh, so people can enjoy it and, and maybe be inspired themselves. So, um, you know, it's, it's based in the small Minnesota lake town, and uh, I think a lot of people around here can relate to that because it has all the aspects of Minnesota lake country that we're used to. And uh, it's about uh, a star athlete in that small town, and, uh, you know, he basically has the perfect life at that point. Um, you know, he's a star athlete, and he has uh, his beautiful sweetheart girlfriend who's the cheerleader, and she tragically dies just before uh, their senior prom. And so in the book, you follow Will's journey of, you know, that devastation and dealing with that and the depression that comes along with it and somehow trying to find new meaning to live on. And so as summer begins, um, her childhood best friend and cousin actually moves to their small town for the summer, they develop a friendship and they eventually develop a summer love. And, uh, you know, from that new love, Will basically finds new life. So, um, you know, it's a beautiful story. There's obviously some drama along the way. It's not easy. Um, there's small town rumors. There's, uh, you know, even Jenna's haunting memory that kind of threatens the relationship and some family drama and that type of thing. So it's not all that easy, but in the end, Will has to decide if he wants to take a second chance on life. So, wow. um, so it's a beautiful story. It's an emotional story, but mm -hmm. um, you know, I think everyone can relate to it. Yeah, and even people who don't usually read those romance novels, they're still going to gain a lot from it too. Yeah, absolutely. And, and there's definitely the love aspect of it, but it's, it has a lot of aspects that people can relate to. I mean, there's the small town aspect that people, especially around here, there's a lot of small towns. I mean, there's, <clears throat> there's the sports aspect. There's, you know, everyone in their life has either lost someone or had a breakup or some type of heartbreak and or someone has gone through tough times. And I think you can follow the emotions that he goes through and he can relate a lot to that. So First off, getting a book published is a big, big deal. So congratulations on that. Thank you. And so just to give some people some background, I mean, your background's being an attorney. You studied law. What made you sit down and go, I think I need to write a novel? Yeah, I don't know. I should get my head examined <laughs> probably. But, you know, it's something that I've always enjoyed doing, writing. And uh, I do a lot of writing in my, my work as a lawyer. But, um, you know, this stuff is a lot more fun. It's a lot more, uh, more creative writing that I've always enjoyed doing. So, um, you know, I've had the idea for years, and I've, I've written it on and off for years, and then finally I just decided, hey, you know, let's, let's take a shot at this. And the reaction so far has just been incredible. I mean, people wow. have been so supportive, and, and my favorite part is hearing people who have read it, and, you know, they relate their stories back to me, or they, you know, they say, hey, you know, what, what you wrote, I've felt that way before. You know, they can make that connection to a memory or something like that. And, that, that connection with our reader is just, it's a great feeling, so. Wow. I love it. So when we come back, we'll find out more about the story and just, I gotta know what it was like to actually accomplish getting it done mm -hmm. and published. So much more coming up right after this.